Hello my beautiful people, how are you? Today I have a foundation first impressions video for you. I'm gonna try out for the first time the She Glam foundation. You can even see what the heck it says because of the lighting. I'm so sorry the lighting is so off. But today I'm gonna be trying out the Skin Finite Hydrating Foundation uh, and the Skin Complexion... What? No. Complexion Boost Concealer. They are both from She Glam. You guys, I do like their makeup, but I haven't tried these products uh, before. I saw this foundation a lot on TikTok and YouTube and I said, I need to try that. Why haven't I bought that earlier? So, if you guys are interested to see how they look on my skin, if I like them, if they work for my skin and all that jazz, then uh, keep on watching. Alrighty, beautiful people. So first things first, I'm gonna remove this hair from my face because it's so freaking annoying. Like, don't get me wrong, hair, you look amazing today and you feel so soft, but you are in my face and I do not like that. Of course, <laughs> I got only one shade and obviously i didn't got my shade because why would i do that isn't it more fun to struggle to blend the shit out of it to make it look at least like is matching to your own skin no now what no yes of course that's so much fun i'm being <sighs> sarcastic here okay so no i didn't got my shade i don't know what i was thinking so it is what it is we're gonna go with shell shade today so the concealer is in the shade chantility uh, i do own a foundation in this shade and it matches me so this i think it should be a little bit lighter than that so again i don't think i got my shades but we work with what we have because i wasn't smart enough i guess to go back and buy like at least one more shade of each and I love that it has the expiration date on it like wow this will expire in 2026 I do have dry skin mostly during the winter and cold seasons but during the summer it gets a little bit more normal so I do get a little bit oily just a little bit oily on my nose so this is the hydrating foundation it works for dry skin so it says the possibilities are skin fitted okay she in uh, our creamy medium coverage foundation mimics the look of natural skin with a gorgeous hydrated glow yes give me the glow give me the hydration the moisturization what whatever the advanced ultra lightweight formula won't clog pores and blends like a dream for a breathable finish wow it sounds freaking amazing uh, apply foundation using a foundation brush or sponge starting in the center roller the packaging is a plus she in you freaking nailed it with this packaging uh let, let, let me just show you a little bit closer you guys i'm so sorry for the lighting okay i truly hope this is so much better i feel like the sun was washing out me, everything, but especially me. Why, sun? I love you. And I know you love me back. <laughs> so this is how it looks. This is the box it came in with. The presentation is just beautiful. This box feels expensive. Like, look at this. Look at this. It even came with a little dusty case, whatever this is called. I'm telling you the presentation is a plus they freaking nailed it this bottle like this is whatever it came in handy if you travel because I don't know I feel like it keeps everything secure maybe it's just me but yeah it came with a dusty bag this foundation looks absolutely high-end like you you cannot tell me otherwise it looks beautiful it's giving uh, rare beauty Fenty Beauty, oh my goodness, she in, you freaking nailed it. Like, it's giving expensive, if you know what I mean. And I know you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, it came in a glass bottle. You hear that? This is glass. It has that matte, soft touch finish. Uh, this is the logo. It looks elegant. 
comes with a pump obviously which amazing like it feels expensive it looks expensive is giving fancy is giving um, rare beauty is giving sephora makeup not, not not sephora brand makeup but makeup that you will find in sephora and listen i paid six euros for it listen so it came in 30 shades which is good she in but you need to add a few more because it's not enough. Right now is eight euro forty one, and also is on sale, I guess. But I end up paying less. I guess I wasn't paying attention when I bought it. I don't know exactly. So yeah, you can type in your favorite foundation, and they will give you what shade sh you should get. Let me just talk a little bit about this concealer. And oh my goodness, they recently came up with a new concealer this one right here it's already in my wish list so i'm gonna go and purchase it it has that metal thingy on the top also they have the gripping primer from i mean this is the dupe for the milk i already have this one uh i don't want to offend anyone but it's not my favorite it's not my favorite so i'm gonna go and buy this one as well so stay tuned for a future purchase so it looks like this this is pretty new as well complexion boost concealer featuring a high coverage formula enriched with phytel or steel whatever that is oleate <laughs> and 100% olive sourced squalene what this sponge head applicator concealer provides extreme moisture while giving your skin a beautiful and blurred natural finish Suitable for all skin types. Simply dab the sponge tip applicator to blend out the product to your liking. This is cruelty free. So listen, I do not like this sponge applicator. This is uh, very similar to the Age Rewind from Maybelline. I don't like the spongy thingy applicator. I just don't like it. But that's just me, okay? This is for euros 45. It came in 21 shades uh definitely we need more shades she in so get your sh together they have only four deep shades that's not enough okay she in that's not enough there isn't any other information about this concealer but uh in the title it says matte liquid concealer long lasting brightening color corrector weightless whatever i really hope this is not matte because as i just said matte products don't look good on me anyway let me just apply them on my face to see how that goes listen i don't know what it is about my skincare lately but all of the foundations i have they like to peel like i do my skincare and then i go with foundation on top and foundations foundation foundations because is mostly all of them they do that peeling thing and oh my goodness i don't know if there's anything else more annoying than that so i truly hope this won't do that on my face right now i have this uh, vitamin c serum so if you follow me you know i'm not a brush girly okay i like to apply my foundations with my sponges this is a very clean one this is from real techniques she has a very good sponge is the most expensive one i think it's like three euros or so it has that weirdy shape but it's so good i do not like those that came in like 10 packs sponges they are too hard for my liking i don't like them so first i'm gonna start with foundation and it says clear as the daylight it says shake well before use let's just take a look at my skin okay i do have this coloration no this is not this coloration these are dark spots that slowly they are like fading away because i'm using the right product for my skin so finally after 35 years of not using skincare I finally found what my skin needs anyway that's another story uh, I have redness a little bit of redness as you can see I have discoloration if that's really what it is uh, dark spots fine lines wrinkles <clears throat> I have a little bit of everything okay I think I'm gonna go with two pumps 
maybe more. Let's go with three pumps. Okay. It smells like nothing. So it looks like this, as we can see, uh, is not very liquid, which it says hydrating. It should be a little bit more liquid than this, but it feels like soft and uh, creamy and uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It feels good. Okay, let's see. I, as I said, I know this is not my shade and uh, whatever. It is what it is. Listen, you know, it feels like whipped cream. Like, not whipped cream, but when you go and whip it. Oh, it makes no sense. Yeah, it feels creamy. It feels very nice. I think I'm applying way too much. Oh, uh, yeah, that's way too much. So, let's just go do that. I mean, the shade is not that bad. Do you see that? I mean, it looks glowy, it looks hydrating, but it feels like it's not blending with my skin. Mm, you can definitely see I have makeup on. Is that a dry skin patch? Is it a dry skin patch? I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> okay, foundation. This is not a medium coverage. It's more like light to medium coverage, even though on my viewfinder it looks way much better than it looks in my mirror. You see that? <gasps> no! You guys see that? No, we definitely... No. Oh, look at my chin! Okay, so. Let's try again. Oh my goodness. I have that on my sponge. Let me just clean it. I'm gonna wipe it off and I'm assuming it's not working with the serum, okay? Because as I said, that's all I had on my skin. It looks bad. Okay, so I just wiped that off. Right now, I don't have anything on my skin and if this claims to be hydrating, that shouldn't be a problem. I want to give this foundation a fair shot, okay? So that uh, vitamin C serum is a huge no. I also cleaned a little bit my sponge uh, and we're gonna try again. I noticed that it was feeling a little bit dry even though I had that serum on, so I'm not sure how I drew this is and I know I know listen I know you should prep your skin before going with makeup on top of it but as I said all of the products I have they don't work I don't know what's the reason they don't work with makeup so um, that's why I'm trying this with no skincare please work please work okay Wow, I don't see that dry patch anymore, so I'm assuming it wasn't a dry patch. It was the serum I had under. Okay, so far it looks good. As I said, this is a light to medium coverage. This is not... No, you cannot fool me, Shiglam. This is not medium coverage. I'm so sorry. You know what's medium coverage? Let me just show you. Like, I was impressed by this CC cream from uh, IT Cosmetics. I know I'm so late to the game, but I've never tried this before and oh my goodness. This is a CC cream. It has medium coverage, which was insane. Of course I didn't got my shade. <laughs> Why would I? Anyway, and right now it's sold out because of TikTok. Sometimes I hate TikTok. Also, I got this because of TikTok. Like I saw this on TikTok. Um, yeah, as I already said, this is not medium coverage, but I'm assuming you can build it up. It looks natural. It looks natural. You can still see my dark spots right here. Some of the blemishes, like, wow, do I have a cat here? Like, it looks natural. It has, you see that? It has a tacky feeling. 
and oh my goodness it barely transfers on my finger i mean you can see it on my finger but on my face it doesn't look like i touched my skin there <gasps> that's good because i hate when foundations do that okay let's go with another pump to do my forehead oh yeah i think i have a cat hair in my nostril i hate when that happens so let me just do my forehead for now and then i'm gonna build it up I love that it's not drying, like it allows you to blend it up. Okay, so let me just try to build it up. This is how it looks with a very sheer um, co coverage, coat, what? Layer? <laughs> um, I do like it. As I said, it looks very natural, but it's not giving what it's supposed to give. Right now, I'm not very happy about it and uh, I don't know why, because it looks glowy. It looks like my skin is healthy uh, it did provide me with a little bit of coverage but for me it's not enough okay so i'm gonna try to build this up especially when i see the blemishes and dark spots other than that like on my chin it looks beautiful it looks beautiful okay this reminds me a little bit of the wet and wild dewy skin foundation skin foundation dewy foundation dewy finish wow and that one is as uh, affordable as this she won she in one she glam wow she glam uh listen the second coat from far it looks beautiful but up close it definitely looks like foundation okay this is definitely not my shade but is an easy fix up close, it definitely looks like I have foundation on my skin and I don't really like that look. It's giving foundation, healthy, dewy foundation. Uh, the second uh, layer, it also covered a little bit my blemishes, my dark spots, redness, whatever. So yeah, I suggested to build it up to get that coverage. Uh, I'm gonna go with the concealer next, but I just wanted to show you guys how this foundation look. So far, so good. Um, it doesn't look like it's gathering in my smile lines. Forehead looks a little bit different though. Okay, it did gather right here. You can kind of see it, but it is what it is. That's like normal. In my case so yeah i just wanted to show you how this foundation looks up close it's giving foundation but also is giving healthy glow dewy finish and i do like that oh i kind of see it should i go do this I'm scared oh yeah it's there but Not enough, I guess. I don't even know how to use this. Should I like get some on my hand or just go directly on my skin? Let's just go directly on my skin because I guess that's the purpose of the sponge. Oh, oh, okay. That's light enough, I guess. Um, the sponge is hard. Uh, I don't know if I should blend this out with the sponge, but I don't think that's the purpose or maybe it is. I have no idea. I just feel like I won't be able to blend this out because I will like get more product on my skin if I try to do that as you can see. So I think we are good. I'm just gonna go and take my sponge and blend this out. I feel like I'm gonna like it. Like the formula feels a little bit thick and it looks like it's high coverage. I don't think I read anything about the coverage of this concealer. Did I? Because I don't remember. Wow, this is definitely high coverage. If not high, medium to high coverage, okay? It looks beautiful. It reminds me of the... I don't know why, but it reminds me of the Anastasia eyeshadow primer. Which is a little bit questioning. You can see I have so many like spider web veins to cover i have redness on my lids and i didn't even apply wow it looks crazy but it's giving what it's supposed to give it's giving 
high coverage. Wow, I love that. But I truly hope it won't look crazy through the day because uh, concealers with this coverage, they tend to be heavy on the skin. So, especially for dry skin bitches out there, I'm gonna let you guys know if I like it or no. But so far, so good. I love this coverage. I think I got something in my eye. A little bit goes a long way. And make sure you blend the shit out of it because, I mean, it feels thick, if you know what I mean. It's giving high end. Like, look at the difference. Do you guys, like, wow. I am impressed right now. I do like it. I like the coverage. I like the fact that it's a little bit lighter than my foundation. I thought I got my shade wrong, but I was wrong. I was wrong. You see the difference? Like, do you see the difference? I love this. It looks so beautiful. It looks glowy and uh, brightening. Uh, do you guys remember in the description it said matte? I don't think this is matte even though it has more like a satiny finish. But definitely it looks glowy. So far I don't see it gathering under. Maybe just a little bit. You guys see that? Just bring it closer. Do you guys see that? Just a little bit is in there but on my lids looks a little bit crazier you guys i do like this you definitely don't need much just blend it out i think i like this concealer more than i like this foundation like this concealer it looks absolutely fire i do need to set it with some powder i also purchased this uh, powder from she glam a while ago this is the hydro touch refreshing setting powder it has that cooling effect it feels like you apply a wet product on your skin it feels crazy and it makes no sense because it's a powder this is a setting powder in the shade i have no idea doesn't say the shade but i'm not gonna use it today because i'm not really sure if it does anything it looks like this it's pink uh, but you don't see the shade on your skin when you apply it. This is mind-blowing, you guys. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's a powder, okay? Look at that. It's a freaking... It's a freaking powder, but when you go and you apply it on your skin, it feels wet. Make it make sense. I'm gonna use the Anastasia setting powder. This is in the shade Vanilla. I'm gonna set my face but first i'm gonna give you a final look on how this foundation and concealer look on my skin without setting it uh, i see it settling into that line more on this side than i see it on this side or maybe i'm just crazy maybe the lighting is not perfect but i definitely need to set those lines said and i keep repeating myself i love the concealer more than i love this foundation but maybe I'm gonna get surprised through the day and this will wear off amazing. Like, you know, there's some foundation out there that the more you wear it, the better it looks. Like, it gets better through the day. So, I truly hope this is one of those. Uh, I'm using a puff. This is also from She Glam or She In. <sighs> That's definitely way too much. What? This erased those lines so fast and so easy this concealer is no joke amazing so far i mean so far it looks amazing it looks so beautiful you guys see that and this is how it looks after i set it with powder it looks way more smooth way more smooth I guess but it's not as glowy as it was before obviously we used powder I haven't applied setting powder around my cheek area and on my nose on my chin I didn't touch that those areas other than that I do really like how this looks right now I can kind of see my dark spot in this area picking through this foundation I didn't apply concealer enough I guess or maybe I didn't reach that area on on this side on this side is not as intense but whatever um, off camera I'm gonna go and apply a little bit of bronzer blush all that jazz and uh, I guess that's it I'm gonna check in a little bit later to show you guys how it looks right now is uh, 128 
five hours later. Hey, so it's 6.22 right now. I don't know, I think it's been up to five hours or so. Honestly, is looking this foundation is looking pretty good. I just had a small incident. I applied this shimmery shade and I had a lot of fallout on my face and then I went with the tape to kind of remove the shimmer and it lifted a little bit the foundation or concealer whatever I have in this area and it does like from close it doesn't look that good but up like from far it's okay you can't notice that as you can see my smile lines are definitely there but not like crazy enhanced but you can definitely see them the lines on my forehead they look exactly the same as they looked like five hours ago or whatever so far so good i will report back to you at the end of the day i'm gonna i, I also had lunch foundation is still there uh, everything looks pretty okay to me it's not giving dewy anymore it looks pretty dry but it doesn't feel dry but I mean it's I'm sorry I didn't want to say dry it looks matte but it's not dry on my face like it's not tight on my skin even though I don't have any like skincare on my skin as you already know but around my mouth it definitely looks A little bit bad if you ask me so yeah I don't know how many hours this claims to last on your skin honestly I feel like in like three hours it will get even worse uh, as I said it's not giving dewy anymore like I didn't set this part with powder and it's like it's not giving dewy anymore the concealer it definitely did the drying thingy but maybe it's because i did set it with powder so honestly i don't know what to say about that uh, other than that i do like the coverage of the of this concealer and it it looks brightening if you ask me i'm gonna report back to you at the end of the day when i'm ready to remove this makeup right now i'm gonna go do some groceries because today is saturday and tomorrow is sunday and everything is closed and i need some things from the groceries okay so you uh, yeah i don't know what else to say also you can see that my hair is sticking to my face uh in the area where i didn't set it like where i didn't set the foundation with powder and that's annoying but yeah it's not giving dew anymore it looks pretty mad if you ask me so you uh, don't get me wrong from far it looks good like it's giving i'm wearing makeup and it looks good but up close like my smile lines bother me so much right now and if i'm gonna try to fix them it's not working you know like it doesn't allow me to fix it approximately 10 hours later hey cuties hello i'm here to give you the final update on the foundation and concealer listen from far it looks good okay i'm not gonna deny that right now is 10 o'clock i'm gonna say this first so stay tuned for my next uh, makeup tutorial because i'm gonna use this uh, foundation again and give it a fair shot today is just a first impressions and as you saw I haven't prepped my skin for this makeup because the foundation was acting crazy so stay tuned for my next makeup tutorial makeup video whatever makeup makeup related video I'm gonna do because I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna give you more updates in that video but as for today Honestly, truly, I don't want to be mean, but it didn't impress me, like, at all, okay? I noticed that after a few hours of wearing this foundation, oh, I'm sorry, uh, the glow just disappeared. The glow, I'm so sorry, I'm burping. I had dinner a little bit earlier. So the glow of this foundation, it simply disappeared, it went bye bye i don't even know where it didn't got worse 
through the day but it didn't got better either so right now I'm like so so I'm not it's like as I said it didn't impress me uh, I do have my smile lines very enhanced my under eyes they look wow I'm impressed this concealer I think the formula is absolutely amazing even though I do not like the applicator the formula is gorgeous because look at my under eyes usually they look extremely cracked like at after how many hours nine hours after nine hours my makeup look extremely expired so this concealer is holding in beautifully and I have to give it credit for that the formula is absolutely amazing if you have dry skin dry under eyes like me get this concealer but listen apply a little bit okay because a little bit goes a long way yes the formula is pretty thick but you can blend it way what you can blend it away and get a nice beautiful coverage in there also you can build it up but i do not recommend because it's gonna get thick and heavy under your eyes this is as close as i'm, I'm gonna get my under eyes look honestly they look beautiful yes the makeup I feel like it's mostly the powder but I cannot wear concealer or foundation without setting it because as you can see I have so many wrinkles, face expression, whatever these are called, face lines. So the foundation or concealer gathers in those lines and it looks 10 times worse if I'm not uh, as for when I'm setting it. So I cannot go away with my day without setting my foundation or concealer so that's that that's a thing i need to deal with it for the rest of my life i guess i don't even know i was saying that this concealer is holding in so beautifully it looks gorgeous i mean it does look a little bit dry under my eyes as we all can see but nothing bad okay like wow i truly truly like it as for foundation, I'm telling you right now it looks pretty matte and um, where's the glow? Where's the glow, motherfucker? Did I win the lottery? No. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't see no glow. It looks pretty matte. Also, what the heck is that? That's not mocos. I think it's foundation. Right? Or maybe it was mocos. What? no those are not mocos okay so my final thoughts as for this first impressions on this foundation is that uh, i am not impressed so i don't see the hype maybe as i said it's because i haven't prepped my skin uh it's not bad but it's not good either so i'm gonna keep using it let me know if you have any like tips on how to use it. Have you used this foundation or this concealer? Please let me know down below. I'm so curious. Does it work for you? Do you have dry skin like me? Please let me know your tips. And what skincare do you use that works with this foundation? Please let me know all that juicy info down below. I'm so curious. And thank you in advance. Um. Yeah, I guess this is my final thought. I'm gonna keep using them and as I said, keep an eye out for my next makeup video related because I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna prep the shit out of my skin so we can see how that goes. So this is how my skin looks after 9 hours of wearing this makeup. I just applied a little bit of this bronzer and blush. Not completely bad if you ask me. I noticed my nose got a little bit oily what are you doing nose what are you doing also my chin she looks a little bit shiny okay what are you doing other than that i'm pretty dry maybe my skin soaked all the moisture from this foundation that's why it looks so dry i mean not so dry don't get me wrong this is not dry and also it doesn't feel dry it feels pretty normal like it feels nice so yeah this is the final look forehead i think it looks a little bit worse like i have more lines in there that they look enhanced yeah you please let me know down below what do you think 
and also if you have any tips any skincare tips let them down below so there you have it that was it for today my beautiful people i hope you guys enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already take care and i will see you in my next one